Hey, Coach, super excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure that you watch and uh, leave some comments below if you have any questions on anything in the video. That's the first thing. Second thing is make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you want updates, uh, you're obviously here because you're a basketball coach, so subscribe down below. That We would really appreciate that. And the third thing is if you're looking for resources, you're looking to become a better basketball coach, click up above or down below, teachhoops.com. It is a vast resource to help you become a better basketball coach. I'm here to help. I just got done answering about 25 emails. So go check it out. I think it will be a great resource for you. 14-day free trial. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Coach Unplugged. I hope everybody is recovering from Labor Day weekend at the end of the week. Friday is in the, in the distance. But we're up to episode 181 of Coach Unplugged. I'm super excited about what we're going to talk about today. But before we do that, we want to make sure we thank our sponsor. Uh, Dr. Dish. Um, it is the shooting machine that you need as a coach. Um, it's, it's not only technology, not only something to help your players become better shooters, um, but it's a way for you to track. It's a way for you to keep, um, keep a hold of all their data, uh, you know, where they're shooting from, where they're not shooting from. It all can be run from their smartphone or their tablet. It is unbelievable. Um, so go over and check it out. If you have any questions, you can always come back to me. But it is the shooting machine that every every program, every AU, every youth program needs to be on this video. Um, also, make sure you subscribe and like. We really do like those. Those help us out a lot. And the third thing, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. So today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about risky things players do. Now, I'm not talking about the risky things. Um, like getting on their moped and going down the street 190 miles an hour. I'm talking about the risky things that they do on a court that uh, I could take my hat off right now if you were watching, but uh, that cause coaches not to have any hair. <laughs> what are the three, what are the risky things that, that players do that cause all of us the angst um, uh, and things that you should work on in practice to get rid of every day. So that's that's the key here is what can you do as a coach to get rid of these things, you know? So as I'm going through them, what you should be thinking is, how can I get rid of these things? And I can tell you the first one, which is leaping to pass, is one of my pet peeves. Um, and the reason is I, I always say, guys, you're not LeBron. You're not Michael Jordan. Your hang time is in six minutes. You can't change your mind when you're midair. So you've committed to something. It is like, I say, it's like getting married. You've committed. You should be in it for the long haul at that point. Um, it's the same thing with that pass. Um, that's the first thing. Second thing is that the passes don't tend to be as precise. Um, they just, they, they take longer to get there. Um, they tend to have a bigger arc. Um, so that's another reason that you can emphasize when you're talking to them. And I can't tell you how many charges I've seen because people leave their feet, they're passing and someone steps in and takes a charge on them. So you can do more with a pass. If you stay on the floor, that is the, that is what you have to sell to your players is you can do more. Um, next thing is, uh, bad angle passes. Uh, you know, <laughs> one of them for me is make, trying to make, a post pass above the free throw line. It, it just doesn't work. The angles aren't there. It's the geometry teacher in me. Um, so I, bad passes, bad angles are something they do. I always say you have to see the numbers in the front. You have to see 10 toes. You have to see 10 fingers. If you're going to make a pass to the post, you better see, you know, maybe have your school name on the front. Um, but you have to see the 10 toes and the 10 fingers. If you don't see that, um, then don't make the pass. <laughs> so rotate the ball and eventually we'll be able to get it in there. And the third thing is baseline drives. Baseline drives are like Weight Watchers. We all think we can do it. We all put our, <laughs> put our mind to it and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, you want to attack the wide angles. It looks open. It looks open for a reason. It's similar to the jump shooter that's at the elbow that's wide open. You're open for a reason because the defense is not guarding you. They're pushing you to that baseline. Um, and then what happens is the angle for the dish off pass disappears because what happens, the defense comes down, takes away the baseline, and then you are, similar to the leaping pass, don't have any options. So you want to attack that middle, you want to attack the, the wide side. So again, leaping the pass, bad. Leaving your feet, okay? Bad angle passes, 
And the third one is baseline drives. If, if, as, if my community service, my thing, if we can get rid of those three things that players do in the court, we're going to, the game's going to be in a much better place. So again, uh, make sure you go over and check out, subscribe and like, leave a review, leave some comments and, and make sure you um, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's the end, beginning of September. I can tell you by the, in the next week or next couple of weeks, depending on when my web developer gives everything done, prices are going to be going up. So if you're thinking of it and you know, with the season right around the corner, you could try a month. There's a 14 day free trial. Go over and check it out. And um, Hey, the weekend's one, one more day away. And reminder tomorrow is the beginning of high school hoops. So make sure you're watching that on your podcast feed or your YouTube channel that make sure that we're, we're watching for that. Cause that's a big one. Um, Jake and I are going to get every Friday, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk high school hoops. So we're very excited about, you know, where are you as a coach? You know, it's September, so we're all kind of in the same spot, and this will be a way for you to connect and, uh, and find out what's going on. So let me know if you have any questions, and uh, have a great week. Bye-bye. Hey, Coach, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're looking for more videos like that, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. 14-day free trial. I do not think you'll be disappointed.